Hello everybody, back with Darlene. We're here. And we're gonna be talking about fragrances that are sexy and attractive to the feminine nose. Because we've had this conversation before that there are some masculine scents and even feminine scents that when a guy smells a masculine fragrance, he thinks it's really good, but then only guys compliment him and he's like, why don't girls like this? And same with women where they smell something like Born in Roma and they like it, but it's not really attractive to like, you know, guys that they're interested in and stuff like that. So of course we had to have Dar on here. That's a really good point, actually. It is, yeah. it's true. So she's gonna help us out. Dar, let's like, tell us what fragrances are attractive, at least to you. Cause okay. I know things are subjective, but like, the ones that I find with my feminine nose. Yeah. Okay. What's like sexy to you? Well, the first one, because I don't think you have it here, mm -hmm. but it's Club de Nuit Intense Man. Fire. Fire! I love that fragrance. Yeah. Every time my boyfriend wears it, it's absolute perfection. I'm like, what are you wearing? I know what it is, but like, all I, I will literally grab his neck and just like... Stay in there? Yeah, yeah it yeah. smells so good. I yeah. remember she said that she used to like before they would go to bed she's like you need to spray that on oh yeah i remember that yeah. i remember she like she called me randomly she's like i told him that he needs to spray it on because it smells so good on him and it's it's also just one of those yeah it, if it's a hot night especially and then you just spray it it's just very relaxing and just it's a it's comfort but also like really i find it very attractive yeah, I love it. yeah. it's a pineapple -y sort of fragrance now mm -hmm. i'll put all the names of the fragrances in the discount site links in the description in case you want to cop these for not retail price but that one goes for like $45 or less. That's why I also and, love it that much. It's like, and it lasts a long time. Exactly what I was gonna say, finish my thoughts. She finished them. All right, darling. All right, okay. remember that's, this is in no particular order, but I mean, that's the first one that came to her mind, so. Yeah, I didn't want to forget about that one. Yeah. So I'm just gonna kind of pick it out like Jeopardy. Yeah. Oh, real is fast? Is it Jeopardy? I don't, the ding, ding. I think oh, so. no, it's not, it's the other one, anyways. But wait, yeah, not Jeopardy, but wait, Um, I'm, we're not gonna be talking about the fragrances I mentioned a lot, like, you know, Tuxedo and Afternoon Swim. Those, are, Those are already literally, I don't wanna say God tier, but like, they are elite, and I talk about them a lot, so those are not gonna be in this video, but they're amazing. Go yeah. ahead, sorry. Okay, so, Tom Ford. Ooh. Tom Ford. Thomas Ford. Almost right. you can't go wrong with Thomas. Um, <laughs> but Oudwood is very, it's just, it's really nice. It's, it's very attractive. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like That one is whenever I would wear that, like her head would just whip around and she's like, damn, that smells so good. Yeah. And it's one little, time yeah. my boyfriend also wore this yeah. and he was, you know, just driving his car. And then I just looked over to him and I'm like, you're, something's just so attractive about yeah. you right now. Ooh, and it, it like contributed <laughs> to the environment that we're in. And I was like, yeah, you smell really good too. So yeah. It was nice. And you would think it was going to be like really strong because mm -hmm. it's oud wood, but it's not. It's very airy. Airy. It dances in the air. Wow, look at you. I'm a, I'm a poet. Yeah, look at you. Okay, so oud wood. Oud wood. What else sticks out to you? Um, oh, up here. Creed Silver Mountain Water. I do Whoa. remember smelling this one a few times. Like, yeah, it's just got that like clean, fresh scent. Yeah. With a little bit of like. I don't think musk is the right word. Some people say like a watery musk, and I know yeah. that sounds weird, but trust me, this is a very attractive sort of scent. To me, it reminds me of like yeah. being next to a waterfall and just kind of like that ambiance of it. But it's a very like crisp fragrance in my opinion. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, it's not a typical citrusy, fresh and clean. It's like, it's it's different, but still in that category. It's, you know a, what I mean? it's like a sexy refreshing. Yeah, can I smell one? I know we should spray it to get a better smell, but like, we're gonna smell a lot of things. So. Girls love this. I have not met a girl that has been in my collection and has hated that fragrance. They all, not even liked it, they all love it. All right, another okay. one, Dar. Next one will go <gasps> Naxos. She's got some fire choices. Man. Dude, Naxos yeah. is so good. It is like, so good. oh God. It's kind of, it's a little bit more sweet yeah. than the other ones, right? Oh my God. It's, it's really hot where we're at right now. So I'm trying yeah. to imagine like <laughs> wearing it in the proper weather. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's just, what's in here? It's like honey. tobacco and honey, but mainly you smell more honey, huh? Yeah, it's, it's got that sweetness in it. And yeah. it's just kind of like, you want to lick it? I know, know. See, that one I call like a mafia boss fragrance. Because there's something, there's Damn. smooth. Like there's a smoothness to it. To it? To it. With, but it's <laughs> also like badass, you know? Yeah. Like definitely nighttime lounge date night sort of fragrance absolutely if you want something a bit rough around the edges but still suave then wow. this is so good wow you, you can review so? fragrances more often should i really You're really good at it yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> for sure an axos and then okay. 
Ooh, solid. <sighs> this is kind of similar to the first one that we said. Club Dunui Intense. Intense. So that one's called Hachibat. Hachibat? I, Hachibat, yeah, somebody corrected me on the pronunciation of it. Hachibat. And what's Hachibat. interesting about this fragrance, I have to say, is that whenever I talk about it, it's only guys that hate on this scent. They're like, oh yeah, the oak moss is gross, it's moldy, but every single girl, including my sister that has smelled this, has gone ape shit over this fragrance and it lasts over a day. Yeah, this is, I remember when you first got it. Yeah. She was doing like an unboxing and it was outside mm. and then she sprayed it and it like drifted indoors and I got up and I was like, what is that one? Yeah. And I grabbed it from her and I was like, holy crap, this is really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, is it sexy? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's sexy. It's very sexy. It's, I keep closing it and opening it because it's know. just, it's so nice to just to smell. Very similar to Club de Nuit Intense though, wouldn't you say? I would agree. Because it also has a pineapple, but instead there's like that oak moss dry down that puts a lot of guys off, but then the ladies love this. And I will say the fragrances we've been mentioning are all marketed as unisex fragrances. Mm. This is marketed unisex, that is unisex, Ooh, what is unisex, Club de Nuit Intense man marketed to to men. Yeah. But and Naxos is unisex, so I'm telling you, unisex fragrances to so the feminine nose kill the game. Oh, kill the that's game. a good point. Yeah, all of yeah. these, I, I like. I wouldn't spray it on myself. Mm -hmm. I would like to smell it on somebody else. Mm -hmm. It's approachable and sexy at the same time. Would you mm -hmm. agree? Yeah, yeah approachable. Yeah. What depends. Point? Depends. There's some where it's like there's some that it's like intimidatingly handsome. Oh, where it's like I don't know if I have the confidence to approach you. Point, Yet. point those out when you smell them like, um, as we go on. Okay, as we go. As we go. Okay. <laughs> we'll do. Let me see. We did Hachibot. Ooh, I see did you I lingering. Like... You're looking at something there, Dar. I know. I was like, did I like one more? Just pull it up. Pull it up. I mean, there's. Some of these I need to refresh myself. Yeah. I, I like. But it means something when she kind of lingers and gravitates to one. You know what I mean? It means that there's history. Yeah, there's, there's something here. I remember. There's <laughs> something here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not like overthrown with it. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do remember the first time you got this one. Mm -hmm. And I remember my boyfriend really liked it. Yeah. And then I don't think I wouldn't I don't want my boyfriend to wear something like this. Yeah. I would probably wear something like this. Okay. Though, you gotcha. Know? We'll put that as an honorable mention. Honor there. Yeah. Honorable mention. I gotta test things out. Yeah, there you go, there you go. We like that. Okay, oh, absolutely. Oh, God, this is a good one. Prada Loam. Show it off like that, Dar. Show them, show them. Boom, all right. <laughs> Boom, okay. This one, oh, God, yeah. It's just office fragrance. Mm hmm. Date night. Would you date consider night that fragrance? Date? Ooh, yeah. Like, let's, the scenario I have in my head is somebody that has to work late in the office, mm -hmm. but promised his girl to, that he'd take her out on a nice date, oh. you know? So he, like this is, this that's that, like a nice, nice date. Not like, hey, let's go get drive through or yeah. stop by Applebee's. Yeah. It's like, let me take you to all you can eat sushi or, okay. you know, okay. or like, let's yeah. go to a steakhouse there or something you go. like that, you know? Yeah. It's just, that one, oh, you got money. Like <laughs> very luxurious, yeah. like fabric softener type of fragrance. All right, oh, I saw you grabbing for something there. Um, you got? Spice bomb, extreme. Specifically, oh, this is the extreme version. Okay. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, it says it right here. Right she sprayed here. this earlier. Actually. I did. So the room kind of smells like it. But... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, I love spicy fragrances. Mm -hmm. I think it's so different from the usual clean and fresh ones that everybody usually gravitates towards. Mm -hmm. So when people have things that have that little bit of spice, like peppery notes and stuff, yeah, I'm like, mm, yeah, very sexy. I have to think of another word. Nice. Nice. Yeah, very nice. But it's true. Wait, so for that one, would you say approachable or kind of intimidating? Set like which which kind of intimidating? A little intimidating. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. will say when I've worn this, I've been approached a lot with this scent. Really, people and like specifically girls love it. Like it's just the scent trail of it mm -hmm. is really really nice. So wow. let me just throw that out there when I wore it. I guess when you say approachable, I expect like hitting on you. Oh, okay. Instead of like. What are you wearing? Yeah, that, you know that's, that's okay. That's, that's what you mean by mean. approachable. With the unisex type of fragrances, this one is marketed as a, a men's. But when girls smell this, and like in my collection on me, like they don't get a really masculine vibe. But it could be because you know I'm a woman and they don't expect that. Mm. But overall, yeah. it's a very attractive fragrance. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this was this is really good. And I don't long know lasting. how. Yeah, and long lasting. 
I don't know how many I talked about already, but... It's okay. Go for it. We like it. We like it. The more, the better, so that there, people have options. You know what I mean? I, I like Trumpy. No, I'm going row by <laughs> row here. All right, Dar. Um, let's do... I feel like there was something here mm -hmm. that I really... Oh, yeah. She knows. This she knows. is <laughs> my OG, like... You can never go wrong with this fragrance. To Absolutely. me, yeah. if you wear this, I will be. I will know the scent, mm -hmm. and I will know you're that guy. Yeah, right. It's I don't know if it so works for good. guys that way, saying yeah. that guy, mm. but this one is just. It's like your first love. It That's is. really what it is. There's it, probably people who have like had boyfriends or ex boyfriends that wear this. Mm -hmm. That now, whenever the girls smell it or their ex partners smell it, it's yeah. like. All the memories come flooding back yeah it's so good this one is an unforgettable scent in my opinion yeah. especially like on the designer side whenever people are like hi i'm just getting started with fragrances what should i buy as my first one on the designer side i always recommend this this is so good this is another one that guys are like oh that's boring but no wear that around a girl very different mouth-watering type of reactions but I mean, if you're trying to impress, if you're a guy trying to impress guys, then, you know, maybe stay away from this one. But if you're a guy that likes girls, this fragrance is, look at her. Look at her. <laughs> I don't even have to say anything. I should just like shut up and just like, See, wa like watch her smell it. I gotta go. She's in La La Land right now with that scent. But honestly, that thing, you have to overspray it because it's weak in performance. But on, like, on a scale of 1 to 10 with sexiness and attractiveness, where does that fragrance fall? To me, this is a 10. Boom. It made me salivate. I remember that. I bro. Used, yeah. <laughs> she this is the first one yeah. you bought, right? Yeah. Like she bought this and then she just started spray, spraying it and I would smell her and I'm like, "Dang, I don't, I don't want you to wear this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want you to wear this. Like I'll I'll give it to somebody else I'm attracted to, but yeah. don't ruin it for me." That's like that. so funny. Oh god, but this one is just really oh. Put that on Keeks. Oh, Put yeah. that on Kings. Yeah, this is really good. All right. Nui de Lone by YSL. All right, what else we got there? Um, I'm going to skip over the rest here. This one was nice, but... Um, you can give it a shout-out. Do an honorable mention. Shout-out. This is... Uh, Black. What do you call it? <laughs> Lom. <laughs> this is Lom. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just like a good fresh and clean. I'm not like crazy about it, but... Your man's does wear that one. Yeah, he wears this, and then whenever he does, I'm like, yeah, you smell good. Mm. It's not like knocking it out of the park, mm. but it's also like you smell good. Is it, it? It's attractive. Yeah. Yeah, but it's but it's, it's not it's not like got you. It's not like only attractive men wear this. Yeah. You know, it's like anybody can wear this, and yeah. you'll smell good. It's yeah. It's just nice. It's, yeah, it's really good. It's really yeah. really good. All, All right, right, let's see. So we got that row done. Ooh, we're on to the last one. Okay, let's, let's see go. what stands out. Let me let's oh, do a wow. surprise. Like I can't not. You got to. Clean. You got I can't to. not. So mm -hmm. oh, these things are heavy, and I'm always scared <laughs> I'm gonna break it. They are heavy. But yeah, yeah, I would probably wear this too. That's what I'm saying. Whenever I have like when a girl has come and smelled this fragrance, and I don't tell them who it's marketed to because they don't know like the brand and the bottle. They're like, oh my god, I want to wear this fragrance. You it's know? like apples. Yeah, it's like an apple yeah. cardamom fragrance and there's some vanilla as well. So it's very attractive mm -hmm. and very safe. Like this is a fragrance you can wear and know that you smell good when you're wearing it around a lot of people and nobody else around you will most likely be wearing this. Yeah. We're talking about being out in public, not fragrance connoisseurs online, okay? Yeah. Because yes, in the fragrance community, that's popular, but shit, at your local bar or at the club, they're still gonna be wearing Dior Sauvage, and you're gonna be wearing. Yes, Layton, so. you're gonna you're gonna stand out with this. Honestly, yeah, it's I agree. Really good. I like this one a lot. I find it quite attractive. What? Prada Black. Show it off, though. Oh my god. Show it off. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't really smell it. Can I spray it? You can. In my eye. Though. <laughs> we put rose water well, on my face. Oh yeah. Yeah, that has that little bit of spiciness. I like. I remember you didn't really like it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, I'm not too crazy about this, but she, I really, I find this very attractive. This is a stable man to me. Yeah. Because you think it'll be your, your boyfriend, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, God. Please. God, God. No, even with like, even, if, even if I didn't have my boyfriend yeah. and I smelled this on a man, yeah. it gives very like, you're secure in mm -hmm. your position in life right now yeah that you're dating to marry 
I like that. Mm, let me smell this again. I but you like also it. break hearts. Yeah? Yeah. I, okay, it's I so that. it's so good. It's just, it's really like, again, I think there's a pepperiness in here that I very, pepper. very much enjoy. Mm -hmm. And it just gives off like confidence. This to me is like confidence in a bottle if a man wears it. And it's very like... description. Wow. Chef's kiss. Very, yeah, I can't... I'm speechless. This one too so has a good. great scent trail, great projection. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like Dar loves, I loves, really loves like this it. scent. It's just... Yeah, I think dad tried wearing this. Our dad, Our dad yeah, I has tried. one like this. Yeah, I, I gave him one. I gave him one, but he doesn't really wear fragrances in general and it's pretty warm where we're at. But... Yeah, and I was like... My boyfriend wears that, Dad. You probably shouldn't wear that. <laughs> yeah, so he does it. He's never worn it. <laughs> you probably should not wear that. Yeah. All right. Um, and then, of course, this is the one that I thought about where it was like I'd be intimidated to walk up to somebody like this because mm -hmm. it's just like... <sighs> that one's called Side Effect. It's by Anisio. Like hot mystery man. Yeah at the bar like you know they're gonna rock your world yeah like that like, might be a little trouble but yeah. you're kind of worth it's like you can make it worthwhile yeah <laughs> you can make that it one i'm telling you every single time like i myself i'm not too crazy about this fragrance when i wear it mm -hmm. but i know when i wear it everybody around me loves it and that is a fragrance that whenever people come and smell my collection guys girls doesn't matter it's a unisex fragrance they just literally their eyes roll back and they're like i want that that smells so sexy absolutely they love it. It's a boozy rum cinnamon fragrance Ooh. and it lasts over 12 hours too. Yeah. Look at you. I feel like it's in a daze. I feel like if you're the quiet friend, the hot Ooh. quiet friend, yeah, that doesn't have to say much. Like this would rock your world. Like people will just come up to you nonstop. Yeah. Like you know you got it. You know you what I mean? You know you have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You just walk in, sit down and they approach you. Yeah. I would approach you. Actually, I'd be intimidated. But I'd be, <laughs> depending. Yeah. You'd be like, ah. <laughs> like, oh, they smell good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One oh. to ten. Okay. I don't want to spray this. Yeah. But no, 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 no. right now I'm gonna give it a ten. It's, it is a ten. When I when I think of performance and scent trail projection and the reactions, the compliments, easily a ten when I incorporate that together. But price point, of course, is high. But I mean, if you're trying to stand out, if you're trying to be not like everybody else, sometimes you're gonna have to put down more. You know what I mean? But totally up to you. I will say, yeah, this is a luxurious ass fragrance. Yeah. Like if you had one fragrance to stake it on, would you recommend this one? People to, get to what? On? To basically one fragrance outside of your day to day mm -hmm. that they want to buy luxury. Yeah. Which one would you say Ooh. like, would you say this is on your list of yes, recommendations? Easily. Okay. Especially if you like boozy fragrances, it's definitely on there because I know like I have experienced how people react when I've worn this scent, oh, wow. and it's another level. This is really good. I yeah. can't stop smelling it. Like yeah. it's she keeps just opening and closing that bottle. Bro. If it was cold oh. outside today, like we would definitely be spraying it right now. Yeah, this this is close to my heart. I yeah. really really love this one. Like side effect. It's very. I can't even have other words. I'm She's speechless. Use hot, but it doesn't do it justice. It's very sexy. Very. Mm -hmm. Just like, oh, yeah, I just, I want to hold this close to my heart. Okay, okay. Is there anything else that, like, you want to add on to here? Or you want to wrap it up with that one? Um, I'll do an honorable mention. Okay, the last one? one is the Cedrat Bose. Bose. There you go. Bose. I'm there sorry, I can't speak. Boise. I don't, yeah. This one is really nice. Like, it's just, um, yeah, like a citrus woody. Yeah, it's like a fruity fragrance to me. It reminds me of walking into Jamba Juice. When I'm wearing yeah, it, yeah, I see that, yeah, right, yeah. and then and then it dries down woody. You know what I mean? So I like the way it transitions. Mm -hmm. That one's also a unisex fragrance. Side yeah. effect: a unisex fragrance, Prada Black, a masculine fragrance. Yeah, but those are gonna be the ones that stuck out to me. I love that dark. Oh my god! <sighs> Again, I'll put all the names and the discount site links in the description so you don't pay full retail because retail can get absolutely ridiculous. We love having Dar on this channel. Thanks, Thank Dar. You. Thank you. Rock. She rocks. All right. Have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.